It's time to try the chili cheeseburger from Whataburger. Chili, chips, and mustard? You know the drill. I have a mobile pickup water for Zach. Zach? Yeah. Uh, the line. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Hey, everyone. Today we're checking out Whataburger's Chili Cheeseburger. Well, I don't know why that sounds so weird to say it like that, but uh, yeah, Whataburger's Chili Cheeseburger. I just, uh, <laughs> so let's get right into it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This thing, what? I'm bringing my plate over here already. So the burger is back on the menu this year. Again, uh, it, it was originally released last year in 2022. So they brought it back and must have done good enough then. I, I hadn't tried it back then. So I'm glad they brought it back so I could try it for the first time today. The chili cheeseburger is going to feature two 100% beef patties, two slices of American cheese, the brand's own chili. I don't think they make it in house, of course. So we're gonna see how that actually tastes on the burger here. Crunchy corn chips, kind of look like Fritos to me, and mustard. That's questionable, <laughs> really questionable there. Crisp onions, all piled high on a five inch toasted bun. The chili cheeseburger is 1,255 calories. Wow, <laughs> that is a lot of calories for one burger. The Whataburger burgers are gigantic, so that really makes sense, but wow, that is, uh, that is a lot. A la carte, the burger is $9.99. For a medium combo, it is $12.59. And then speaking about all this chili, if you don't mind putting some chili on the like button down below, it really helps out the channel. Now it's time to unwrap the chili cheeseburger. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always surprised when I get a burger from Whataburger. These things are massive. <laughs> they are massive. Okay. Here it is. Oh yeah, man. <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't contain myself. This thing is so gigantic. Now it's time to see if this burger is picture perfect. Let me go ahead and grab that picture here. All right, so, um, you know, it's, um, give it a C for almost passing. Um, let, let's raise it up to a B. It's pretty close. It's just the chili's not showing. I see some of the chips. Uh, I guess the chili is kind of popping out in a couple areas, but all right, don't need that anymore. All right, and now it's time for the close-up. Okay. Taking the top layer. Oh man, this is kind of nervous here. Okay. The bun felt like it was about to uh, rip apart when I was trying to take it off there. Got the chips, check. Right off the bat, we can obviously tell there's two beef patties on this. There's two layers of cheese. Here we got the chips, we got onions. See that mustard on there too. And then the bottom, what is on the bottom here? Looks like there's that other piece of cheese there. To be honest, it doesn't look like they gave me too much chili, but hey, let's hope they know what they're doing. All right, that's gonna do it for the close-up cam. Let's cut a cross section here to see how it looks in the middle. Let's see what the middle looks like here. All right, that's a pretty good cross section there. Looks pretty appetizing. Got myself some french fries here. Loving those fries. And the drink I got there in the drive-thru was a strawberry shake. Oh yeah, loving that strawberry. Without further ado, it's time to go in for the attack. The beef patties are good as usual from Whataburger. The cheese, really nice. I, I love a lot of cheese in my burgers, so there's two slices of it and it's, it's really helping out here. The bun is toasted nicely as well. You know, it's their standard bun, so uh, it's 
you know, it's okay. The onions are also a nice touch as well. Uh, and I didn't think the mustard would make it onto the good list, but it does actually uh, give it an extra bite uh, to the overall flavor profile. I didn't think that was a good idea. I was like, mustard and chili? Like, who has ever added mustard in their chili? Let me know if you've ever done that in the comments, but um, personally, I have not. If you do want to see more food reviews coming your way, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, the chips. Ah, man. I love adding, you know, those Frito chips into my chili and... I think that's what they were going for here, but the chips are like slightly stale. It, it was giving me flashbacks from the Wendy's loaded nacho cheeseburger I tried uh, last month. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But, oh man, yeah, uh, the chips. Chips on a burger, I don't know why companies continue to do that. I don't know, I don't know why restaurants continue to do it, but unfortunately, I think they're still on this burger as well. Uh, let me take a look. Some of them fell out here. From the burger so let me try it mm-hmm yeah the it's it the chips are stale like come on give me some fresh chips y'all like what why, why is it so hard to get some fresh chips they just brought this burger back and put it on the menu so why aren't the ingredients fresh come on now some of them are kind of soggy because they've been sitting on the chili so they're like getting soggy and yeah it's, it's just texturally kind of off there uh the chili itself I mean, it's kind of flavorless, and that's why it's on the bad list. It just, um, here's some chili right here. The chili powder and the chili is not too strong, or the seasoning, whatever seasoning they're using, it just kind of gets missed when you're eating this thing. I know it's supposed to be the highlight. I mean, it is, it is the chili cheeseburger, but it's, um, there's not really one defining thing in this burger. I mean, the patties are for sure bypassing the chili in any way. As far as flavoring goes, that chili needs some more seasoning. I'm gonna rate the chili cheeseburger from Whataburger. I'm gonna give it a 5.0 out of 10. It's right in the middle, it's pretty average, you know? It's definitely not the worst thing that's out there in the fast food world right now. Uh, so, but yeah, 5.0. Uh, I'd rather stick with my favorite from Whataburger, which is the patty melt. Uh, give that a shot if you haven't before. Let me know if you want me to do a review on that. You know, it's not new, but it is one of my all-time favorite burgers. So, uh, but yeah, go give that a shot instead of this. You know, don't waste your money on, on the, the chili cheeseburger. They did a really good job with the coleslaw. Well, it, was, it wasn't a coleslaw burger. It was a southern double bacon cheeseburger. That's, that's what it was. Uh, unfortunately, that's off the menu, but that's something they should keep on the menu. I mean, that thing was super good. There's nothing to take it to the next level, you know? So, unfortunately, that's what it's going to be. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.